Greetings fans of real-time technology and uh, things like uh, Node.js, uh, Now.js, Titanium, Accelerator, iPhone apps, Android apps, all sorts of real-time stuff that we love. Um, I've been uh, meaning for a while to have a go at um, doing some research into using Node.js for various things. Um, and well, in doing so, I came across uh, a th something called um, no Now.js, which makes it very, very easy uh, to basically blur the line between the client and the server uh, when it comes to coding stuff. So um, you can get almost uh, well, asynchronous, real-time um, communication between uh, between clients in real time. This is how things like Twitter Stream and TweetDeck and things like that work. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a little uh, bit of an experiment I've been doing. So I have myself a server up and running, and I've created a little application here called Socket to me, because obviously it uses WebSockets. So what I'll do here first is I've got uh, some browsers here: Safari, Firefox, and Chrome. So let's log in with Safari. Safari is joined chat. Firefox is joined chat. And Chrome is joined chat. You can see here they've uh, joined up here. So enter the name here. I'll call this iPhone. Um, and I'll even log in here on my real phone here as Cozo. Cozo has joined the chat too. So uh, we can have a little conversation here, obviously talking to myself. Go hello. And we can see if I move this around here. Uh, we can see here that uh, Chrome says hello, hi there. Um, we could even say, um, okay, I could say slash who. Okay, so there's me, uh, Firefox, Chrome, iPhone, Cozo. Uh, I can do obviously do the same up here. Who's in here? And on the application, just click this button. Does the same thing. Um, now I could go me thinks, and so we've got like a little action in there. Um, I could say if up here, let's say Chrome Waves, me Waves, <clears throat> and it's all coming in through uh, here as well. Um, now let's say uh, Firefox wants to change his name, so let's say Nick, um, Cos. <laughs> Firefox's name is now Cos. Um, obviously, you can see all sorts of humorous tests in there. Obviously, when you're talking to yourself. For all this time whilst building applications, um, you have to do silly little things to liven it up a bit by being childish. But not half as childish as this here, because I could say like me, um, me uh, waves here. But also, let's say over here, I could, because um, no, obviously no iPhone app uh, is complete without uh, this. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> let's try this. Obviously, chat applications in real time <coughs> need to have real time bodily functions too. Me laughs. Um, and so, uh, as I show here, let's go. Um, if I try and change my name here to Cozo, it actually says that Cozo is already in use, so that's okay. Um, so, because I'm logged in as Cozo on the phone, let's go Nick uh, Cos. Cos is already in use because I changed my name there, you fool. Uh, John. iPhone is now known as John. Hello. I am John. Oh, I'm John. Um, and so, also, what will happen is obviously, if I close Firefox here, Cos will leave the chat, and Chrome will leave the chat, and Safari say goodbye. Um, and uh, not only that, um, another thing we can do here is. Um, if the server goes down for some reason, so if we look on here and here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually kill the server. And the server went offline and farted on its way out the door. Marvellous. I think you'll agree. Um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it. Anyway, check it out. Um, uh, check out Now.js um, at, I think it's Now.js.org. We'll just look it up. Google it. Uh, Now.js. Um, very interesting, good fun. Um, set up a node uh, JS server, set up npm, which is the node package manager, just go no, npm install now, you're away. And there's a hello world example, um, uh, which will get you going in no time. Anyway, cheers. <laughs>